Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to solve these four problems and I'm going to share with you some formulas that you can use in finding areas of uh, triangles. Let's begin. In this first problem, we're given the base of the triangle, so that is equal to 12 and the height or altitude is equal to 7. So how do we find the area of this uh, triangle? We use the formula a equal to base times height over 2. So that is equal to 12 times 7 over 2. And uh, canceling the common factor 2, we'll get here 6 times 7. That is equal to 42. Now, how about if we're given two sides of a triangle and the included angle? So how do we find the area of uh, this uh, triangle? In this case, we can use the formula area is equal to 1 half a times b times sine of the included angle, theta. So if we apply this formula, we'll get here 1 half times 5 times 8 times sine of 60 degrees. And what is sine of 60 degrees? Sine of 60 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2. And 1 half times 5 times 8 is equal to 20. Therefore, the area of this triangle is equal to 10 square root of 3. Now, let's move to the next problem. In this problem, we're given the three sides of this uh, triangle here, and we want to find the radius of this uh, inscribed circle, which is also called the incircle. So how do we find the radius of this uh, incircle? We can use the formula area of the triangle is equal to the radius of the incircle times s, where s is the semi-perimeter of the triangle. And when you say semi-perimeter, it is half of the perimeter of the triangle. So that is equal to a plus b plus c all over 2, where a, b, and c are the sides of the triangle. So the value of s here is equal to 7 plus 9 plus 12 all over 2. And that is equal to 28 divided by 2, which is equal to 14. And now, what is the famous uh, formula in finding area of a triangle with known sides? So the famous formula is Heron's formula. And it tells us that the area of the triangle with sides A, B, and C is equal to the square root of this expression where S is equal to this semi-perimeter. So using this formula here, we'll get square root of 14, and then 14 minus 7, so that is equal to 7, 14 minus 9, so that is equal to 5, and 14 minus 12, that is equal to 2. And we can easily simplify this to 14 times square root of 5, because uh, 7 times 2 is equal to 14. So we have here 14 squared. Therefore, we can now use this relationship between the area of the triangle and the in-circle radius. And we'll get R is equal to A over S. And that is equal to 14 squared of 5 all over 14. Therefore, the in-circle's radius, which is called in-radius, is equal to square root of 5. Let's now move to our last problem. In this last problem, we're given a triangle with known sides, and we want to find the radius of this uh, circumscribed circle. We also call this uh, circumcircle. So the radius of this uh, circumcircle is uh, called uh, circumradius. So how do we find the length of this uh, circumradius r? The length of this uh, circumradius r can be found using the formula a equal to a times b times c all over 4 times r, where a is the area of this uh, inscribed triangle here, and a, b, and c are the sides of the triangle. So from this equation, we'll get r is equal to a times b times c all over 4 times a, but in the previous problem, we found already the area of this uh, triangle here using Heron's formula. So this is equal to A 
times B times C over 4 times the area of the triangle, which is equal to 14 times square root of 5. And we can simplify this to cancel, cancel. Okay, we'll be left with a factor 2 and then cancel, cancel. We'll be left with a factor 3. So we have here 27 over 2 square root of 5. So therefore, the circumradius is equal to 27 over 2 square root of 5. And you may rationalize the denominator and write this as 27 square root of 5 over 10. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.